everyone so the old wood carriage works but I've had plans to either redo it or use this one that came with another American sawmill that I picked up a number one I drove up uh, last fall and picked it up from the UP up in Mystique uh, I took all the old wood off it and the uh, head blocks but nice steel base under it good wheels did a pretty good job I mean it doesn't look like it's machine shop but uh somebody that knew what they were doing so the old carriage does good but when I had to remove it it being so big and long I had to cut that top board See, they have it set up to where it's more or less two little short carriages. And then the top board was connected. Then they got these pull together bolts right here. Oh, right there. And it's been working, but if you bang the carriage too hard or roll the log in it too hard, I see things move. And couple times it's made stuff move enough to where I uh, had to readjust head blocks because it had bowed a little bit right here and I didn't even know it so that being said I'd like to get this out of here for the winter and right now I have a long rack gear that runs from on that red beam there all the way down see it all the way down the whole length of the carriage I think it's, I think it's like I don't know 35 foot something like that but it's noisy and I've picked up these few other sawmills and I have a whole setup to run pulley drive it's it's back there Yeah, so that's what's going on. Oh, yeah, I have one of these. Now, this one goes to the Altman Taylor Jr. That's not a Sears sawmill over there. But we'll get to that later. I'll do another video on that, what I've been got going on. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to... I set one of these other track setups I had sitting around off the back of my railroad tracks and uh, we're gonna push this carriage off as far as I can and then we're gonna put this one on and roll it on down and I have another one of those track setups well I have actually four of them but I only need two right now I have another one laying right there I'm gonna get ready and carry in and put on this end that way I can roll this other carriage the new carriage all the way down here to the end and I can roll it on and off when I want to work on it because eventually I'll move all those head blocks and uh, knees and I have two more but I'm only going to use one more so I'm going to run four knees on this carriage I mean I have a hard enough time trying to line up three I can already imagine the fourth is going to give me hell I just messing around with these old square bolts it seems like they do not want to stay tight but I like the look you know you start putting the, the new modern bolts on there and it just changes the look of an old sawmill well that's just my preference alright well I'll quit jabbing and uh, I'll get to doing I just milled up a couple pine got you up on the motor so hopefully it'll stay oh, it's already trying to slide off I already ran it out of the gear so
Now see that rack gear is so long that it hits the end of that other carriage. See that other American sawmill was uh, pulley, or uh, not pulley, it was, yeah, ran off a pulley and a cable. So, let's see if we can get this other carriage on Tractor will start. I really wish I could get that other back further, but I was going to cut that end off, that other trackway, and today's got the best of me. Got up to 85 today, and there seemed like there was no wind blowing. This is my first time putting this on here and trying it. I did measure the other though before I tried to slide that on and it seemed to line up so. You guys know about when you have a problem with buying everything you see and then you get way too much crap and then all you do is shuffle it around all day long. Bunch of dirt in the wheels, but uh, yeah, of course, need some grease. It's been sitting outside for a few months, and then the guy I got it from, it was sitting out there just getting rain down up north. I figured everybody's along for the journey of becoming a, a Sawyer, I guess. 
if you want to call it. This is all the crap that comes with it. You get that want and need for more sawmills and to better stuff all the time. And So I got another 350 foot, well they're actually 230 foot and then uh, I want to say a 20 foot of train track I bought from the neighbor uh, on the next road over. There's another road back that way, probably three miles roughly. And I thought about maybe using some to add to this. So I could go a little bit longer of a log. I was told this mill here would do a 20 footer no problem. And I seen uh, the old guy I got it from. A lot of his barns. I seen all the 20 foot beams. I feel like some were even longer. And he said he made them all on this mill. So. Yeah. Give her a little push and see. It's all pretty good. Outside of down at that end. My railroad ties have been sinking in the sand, especially all this rain. The one thing I did screw up when setting this mill up was I tilled a lot of the, the track ground trying to level it out because it was such uneven ground. Uh, pretty hilly land out here. And I was going to set it up back there before that turned into a big mess. There was a pretty big flat spot back there, but... It just seemed like back there on that edge the mosquitoes were so bad that I just, I could not work there. I I don't even usually start splitting any of that firewood until we get a couple frosts. Well, huh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, that's going to be the new carriage for the American number one. it working out a lot better uh, getting rid of that gear drive that will be so much quieter I have a lot of people always ask me what that sound is it's this gear clanging against that flat gear because there's a little bit of slop and the height so they slap and then you got this gear here slaps a little bit all that keeps you awake but you do this all day long, you get tired of hearing it. I'd rather just hear the blades singing. Well, I see my subscribers have really gone up. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I hope to grow the channel. I'm doing a whole lot of nothing, so I'll keep pu pumping out videos. Uh, sawmills kind of turning into my life now. I Even when I take my ad, I took my oak ad off. I had a red oak and white oak ad on Facebook Marketplace because that was what I was getting most of my calls off from. And it seemed like a lot of my calls were, they would call and they would ask for pine. And I'm like, what, did you see my pine ad? And they were like, no, uh, -uh nope. Uh, you know, I, I've sold quite a bit of red oak, but pine has really turned into what it seems like I'm sawing all the time. So, well, everybody have a good evening. It's Thursday evening, September 1st. And uh, everybody have a good weekend. I'll try to get a couple more videos out, uh, at least by Sunday. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good night.